Hey, 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 guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this morning's uh, Facebook Live. My profit, I'm 100% in charge t-shirt just because uh, it was uh, kind of falling in, in line with what occurred over the last 24 hours. So, hey, Sarah, welcome. Glad you're here. Super awesome to see you. Hope you're doing awesome. Matt, welcome. Tim, uh, Tim, welcome. Susan Shepard, oh my gosh, how are you, Susan? Uh, Susan, this will, be a good, this will be a good one for you, uh, I promise. minutes and it's not even really about me it's really this is about you and one of the things that I think is interesting for people to people to do and you know if you don't if we've never met before or you don't know anything about me I'm a pretty super casual guy I run a um, I run the platinum inner circle out here uh, well it's all over the world actually and it's a it's a business coaching mastermind program where we sit at the intersection of transactional and transformational business meaning how do you go from vision to profit and have it all and everything in between. So one of the things that we really emphasize with our clients is that every so often, whether it's quarterly or monthly or whatever, you got to sit down and kind of look at your portfolio, if you will. That portfolio could include um, businesses, investments, um, things, things that are producing income for your business, right? Most of us have a portfolio of things that, that we pay attention to, you know, and so we were going through our numbers of, of my particular portfolio of businesses, and we were looking at uh, two different categories, uh, two different KPIs or key performance indicators in our businesses. And so when I laid out the portfolio of businesses, we kind of went through, um, my advisors and I, and we looked at those different businesses and we said, okay, first off, let's evaluate all of these businesses for the first uh, two months of 2018. January and February, since we're just getting ready to start in March, and we looked at two key performance indicators of each of those businesses, okay? Number one was the ROI, right? Um, I'm assuming you know what ROI is. If you know what ROI means, throw it in the comment section. Um, well, I'm just gonna tell you because I can't move on until I get it out. Return on investment, right? So as entrepreneurs, as entrepreneurs, uh, our job, is essentially to manage the relationship between risk and reward, right? So at the end of the day, um, if you're in America, this is what a dollar bill looks like. If you're not in America, this is what our, our, our goofy money looks like, right? But at the end of the day, as an entrepreneur, it's our job to take this dollar, put it into the marketplace, put some stuff behind it, and let it go out and collect some friends and bring those friends back with it. And hopefully, if you do this right, you have this $1 bill goes out, does some work for you, comes back and, uh, and brings back five of his friends, right? And then you take those that five of your friends and you put that back out in the marketplace and it comes back and brings you more friends, right? So maybe it brings you 10. It's so funny, I just have a, a, my petty cash just literally right next to me. That's why I would be able to grab cash this fast. So um, so that's really kind of the, the deal. So we looked at those businesses on the return on investment. So for every dollar we put in, um, yeah, there you go. Kirk says it perfectly. Um, finger figures don't lie, but liars always, uh, uh always figures, right? So, uh, you got to check your numbers, right? So if you put a dollar into something and it doesn't produce a dollar plus something coming back, you've got a negative ROI. And if it does put a dollar in and you come up with, with more than that, then, uh, obviously you have a positive return on investment. So, I have a portfolio of businesses that I've invested in. I have a portfolio of different things like cryptocurrency and stocks and real estate and all that kind of stuff, different web businesses, different things like that. So you want to go through and look at the ROI. That's super important. Is the return on your investment dollar huge? It's one of the reasons why I just truly believe that everybody should have a network marketing business. It doesn't matter to me what you have, but the reason you should have that is the return on the investment, if you do it right, is massive. It's going to cost you a few hundred bucks to get started. You start putting a few people in, you get some customers, those customers pay you a little bit of money every month. Um, that return on that investment dollar is huge, right? I'm a, I'm a big crypto guy. I like investing in cryptocurrencies, both on the mining side, as well as the trading side. I do the same with stocks, bonds, real estate, a bunch of different things. So you got to return on investment. But here's the here's the big key a lot of people don't look at the roe 
Okay, they don't look at the ROE. Okay, and the ROE is return on energy, right? So we all have so many, uh, we all have so many um, minutes in a day, hours in a day, days in a week, weeks in a month, right? We all have that. But how much energy does it take for you to create that ROI? Okay, so hey, Adrian, what up? Um, most people don't equate the ROE into their business, right? And again, let me just use network marketing. You know, you might have to put a lot of energy in up front, but then once you get that ball rolling, what ends up happening is that business throws off cash every single month and the return on investment becomes astronomical. If you've got maybe 2,000 bucks in over the course of a year and that thing is spitting out, you know, 500 bucks a month, well, that's a pretty good payback, right? But there's ROE involved in this and that's return on energy. So how much energy does it take for you to produce that income? So, and I will tell you how and where this came out to be um, like glaringly obvious for me in the last two months is we sat down and we were going through our portfolio businesses and I, I kind of put myself through a rigor, rigmarole um, in that I've got kind of a group of advisors that I, um, I invest in their ability to advise me and I really have them clamp down on me and really force me to dig deep and answer lots of questions. And so this month in February, right? So we just came out of February. In February, I had something really interesting happen. In February, um, I had one particular business, right? And it just so happens that it's an affiliate business. So it's just a product that I promote here and there. Um, I talk about it a little bit, but I just promote it as an affiliate. So in that business, I don't do anything but promote their stuff. I get paid every time um, they make a sale based on my recommendation, okay? Um, so I had a business for the first time ever. Um, I had a business where um, one business that my energy units, meaning number of minutes I've spent on that business, are like 20 minutes. 30 minutes max for the month. I wrote a couple of emails. I actually just pushed a couple of emails out. I had set up a system and process to let some of those um, sales tools do some of the promotion and work for me, right? Well, one of those businesses outperformed from a return on energy perspective, every other business I have combined hands down. The return on investment was also massive right? And when I started comparing it to the other businesses that I run and oversee and are part of my portfolio, it blew out of the water everything else, right? So in essence, what ended up happening was um, I run a pretty big network marketing business. I run a coaching, a coaching mastermind business. I've got all of these things going on, but when we started looking at numbers and just percentages and returns, for the first time I had a business that was almost literally hands off, outperform every other business that I ran. Now, that return on uh, that return on that business in the beginning took me a little bit of time. It probably wouldn't have been as as profitable way back in the day when I first started promoting it. But my affiliate sales from this one particular product outperformed as a percentage basis every other thing that I did. So the point of this story is really for you to take a look at your portfolio of stuff you've got going on and ask yourself and really dial in and get down and dirty with the numbers and say, okay, look, is this actually producing a return on investment? And is this actually doing providing a positive return on energy? Now, if you're in the build stage and you're putting a lot of time and energy into whatever you're building, I get that, right? That's, that's totally okay. But you also have to look at and say, okay, am I putting my energy and investment dollars in the right lane, right? And if you don't have a good answer for that or you don't know the answer for that, then I'm gonna flip to another suggestion and that suggestion is simply this, that you get with a business coach, advisor, join a mastermind program, hopefully one that actually makes you invest dollars in. Don't even get me started on free masterminds. I, it's fine, but um, 
as business people, I just, I'm not sure. I won't go into that. Get into a, some sort of coaching, mastermind, training, accountability program, something that's going to force you to start taking a good, cold look at your numbers because numbers don't lie and numbers are the lifeblood of your business. If you don't know your numbers, then we should probably have a chat, right? And um, sometimes it's just a matter of having a business coach start tweaking your numbers or forcing you to look at different things or forcing you to come around and, and look at different opportunities. Are you, are, are you leaving some money on the table with up sales in your business? Are you leaving money on the table with not taking credit cards? Are you leaving money on the table because you're not generating an email list? Are you leaving money on the table because you don't have a, a big Facebook following? Are you leaving money on the table? And by the way, meaning leaving money on the table really translates to are you serving the best community? Right? So you want to be able to really sit down, hunker down, and have a good dialogue with a coach, a mentor, an advisor that's going to force you, um, that's going to force you to look at your numbers. So if you're not looking at your numbers, just take a little bit of time and figure out your numbers. It's so important and you may not like what you see. You may not like what you see, but your business will be a whole heck of a lot big, better for it. So anyways, guys, I hope this helps. Um, I know that hope is not a business strategy, but uh, I just was so, I was really excited because when I saw the business of an affiliate product that I could promote, that I made more than, uh, I actually made more than my network marketing business, which is actually kind of a shocker. Um, and there was very little energy on it. Now what I can do is now I've made the decision where now I can actually put some energy and some ad dollars and some marketing dollars behind promoting um, this because I know the return is going to be astronomical. Those are the kind of things that you get when you are looking at your numbers. So anyways, with that, guys, hey, thanks for jumping on here. I hope this is valuable. I hope this is helpful for you. If nothing else, it will force you to start looking at your numbers. If you have any interest in uh, having a chat with me, I'm happy to help. I actually leave for Australia today. I'll be gone for a couple of weeks, but uh, I'm available via Facebook, and uh, we can jump on a Zoom call or something. So with that, have an amazing day. Now go give somebody else an awesome day like your business by checking out your numbers. Talk to you guys soon.